Hey there, it's Fight here with a quick review of Snappify. So the idea of Snappify is that you have images that are clickable and then depending on what you, how you configured it, different things can happen. So for example, down here, I've set it up to show a video. Okay, there we go, nice. If, on the other hand, I want to, I can't remember what I said here, oh yeah, get more details on a Safari, motorbike Safari, I think the same up here. Um, yeah, exactly, get more details. What you can also do is set up uh, or replace, if we just go for this here, the get more details button by, for example, a, um, a description of, you know, the reviews and the uh, description of something on Amazon, and then you've got a, your affiliate link, for example, to something on Amazon. So in this particular case, what I've, you know, <laughs> as a case study created is, let's pretend we're a travel agent and they have three offers. One is motorbike safaris in South America, the other one motorbike riding in Africa, and then they've got some parachuting. So you know, I set up different images. Oh yes, I want to go and parachute or fall out of a plane. Uh, and if I want to get more details, then I can. Uh, this one here I set up just for kicks. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, what this is. Jump now. There we go. This actually does exist. Well, there you go. Jump now. Okay, fair enough. So that is the fundamental idea. You can use this for your own websites to create user engagement. So this is, again, a fine example of the commitment and consistency principle. The moment someone starts engaging with your content, and this is a very small give. I mean, they, you're not forcing them to do anything, but that just that one little click says, I am committed to finding out more. And that's why this fundamental idea is so brilliant. Anyway, I was saying what else you can put in there. So if you want more description, for example, you could have a, a whole description. Uh, if you have products that cost money, you could have a price in there. Uh, you can have a sign-up form from your autoresponder and so on. So these are the different things you can do with this. It kind of also describes whom it's for. It's for definitely for affiliate marketers. If you have review sites and if you are, uh, let just pretend you're into jewelry. So you've got a person wearing jewelry, a necklace and a bracelet and a ring, whatever, uh, a belt. Then you can have these little hotspots on the different things. And depending on, and then what you do is when people click on there, you might have a, a more detailed picture of the thing, for example, the bracelet. And over here, you then have a call to action, a description on Amazon. Um, that would be one application. The other one is if you know, something like the, the business I described, you're a travel agent and you want people to self-select. And that's the key thing. It's all about self-selection, giving people the freedom of choice. And that's quite uh, powerful. So there you go. That's it. In a nutshell, that's how this thing works. And if you want to go and look under the hood, I will show you that right now. Uh, the code you get is something like this here. You get a piece of code, you embed it on your site, and that's it. And the way it's created is a roughly like this here. What you've got is you've got tag your images. It's basically not really tag. Why well, it is tagging, but not tagging in the traditional sense, is putting these hotspots on there. And then you either, and th I think this is the core idea of Snapify, is that you go to your social media profiles and pull these images in. Now, this is a, J -re a JV review account, so I didn't connect my account, so I have to go with other people's pictures. Or, if you don't like it, you can just upload an image. And as you can see down here, when we scroll to the bottom, I've uploaded this picture. Now, when you are tagging your images, you simply go in here and let's say I wanted to create another one, uh, whatever, let's go to Canada, if you want to go to Canada, okay? So we're going to go to Canada here, click my little tag over there, and you can choose your color and your icon, so let's see if we can find something that's relevant to Canada. You get the idea, you know, you just go through here, I, I don't think we're going to find maple syrup right now. Uh, but Canada is okay. So there we go. We're going to go for this okay. Then you upload an image, which is basically the image people see after um, clicking on there. So as you saw in the example, let's see here, uh, this image shows penguins. Okay, so that's basically what you upload there. And here we go. 
And then you select the type, I've already described this to you, a video, a call to action, you saw the video example, you saw the call to action, uh, you enter your text, a product is the one I said, you know, this is basically an affiliate link, add to cart, product price in dollars, and there you go, and a big description. And this is the bit where you copy, for example, stuff over stuff, information over from uh, Amazon. Here are the reviews on Amazon, go check this out, it's cool. Which is also, you know, it's heavily weighted towards Amazon because I think right at the very top you have, there you go, there's the Amazon uh, link, so, you know, uh, symbol, so people immediately know, aha, it's an Amazon review. There you go, and that's it. And then all you do is, once you've added this, you save it, and then you basically embed it, and that's done in campaigns where you simply go in, and if you want to create a gallery, down here you can in this case I've just got this here this is the embed code and I then embed it on my site like so and the end result is this so there you go that is Snapify I can tell you from playing with it for a good hour or so there are some tiny little bugs in there and the amazing thing is the moment I mention it to Chris and his team it's fixed within three minutes so even if there's something uh, for example um, I'll give you one example uh, right now you can go in and for example here's my you know my picture actually this is not the one so this is of course the embed code I need to go back to my picture mm, there we go my picture and I go to the bottom and if I go click on here this is kind of the edit functionality um, but at the moment I can't uh, remove this okay so they said they will do this in the next couple of days uh, it's <laughs> and a couple of minutes ago I said they fix everything in three minutes no not everything I've I found a couple of minor things that no one would notice it's just my weird brain that picks up on these little things those little things they fix up in three minutes the the edit functionality where you can go in here and just remove an image say say I don't want this here or you know so I wanted somewhere else I wanted a different symbol that is something they're deploying in the next couple of days they just don't want to rush this and then accidentally break something in the process so all in all a lovely little product and they are absolutely on the ball fixing things and making sure everyone gets what they need so yeah I like it uh, you know about 10 fingers up already cheers bye